Today on TNT Big Show, where's the outrage for the fact that Larian Studios seems to underpay some of their employees severely? All today on TNT Big Show. Gentlemen, this is me, Michelle Ann Tackett. And this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show. And if you like our content, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up to date with all our latest videos. And if you want to help with that pesky algorithm, watch the whole video. Thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment. Just be nice to others. Save it to a playlist or share it to social media. And I have a couple of pages, like ISP.page, where they talk about that Learning Studios, when it comes to treating their employees, they're very good to them. Some positions, you can make your own hours, and that if you have problems, the staff is there to help and you know like discrimination is stuff if it does happen is handled pretty quick so this is not a full-on attack against larian studios who made baldur's gate 3 and the divinity series my only gripe is is that when nintendo was doing this to contract workers there was like 50 100 oh, yeah. articles yeah. videos on youtube as rightfully so talking about it Right. But where is it at now? Yeah. And yes, Glassdoor is one of those. And I know people are like, oh, you guys said not to believe. No, no, no. We never said not to believe Glassdoor. We're saying don't just believe people who are posting one-star negative reviews saying it sucks because that could be just a disgruntled employee. Yeah. But a lot of the reviews in here are giving them four, three, and some even five stars. But this person... A bit low salary for senior position and compared to other places in the industry, four stars. Salary is low for an international company, but a nice place to work, though. Another person, five stars. Salaries could be a bit higher. And one person, two stars. Slow professional growth, low salary. So you never know with reviews like that. But when you have people that are giving them four and five star reviews, but they're saying that some things do need to be fixed... That sounds like people who like the company but want them to do better. better exactly. And if I remember correctly, a lot of the media, they find out Nintendo was not treating some of their contract workers as good as they should. It was on Glassdoor. Some Glassdoor employees were complaining about it, and it turned out to be true. And they were giving Nintendo four and five stars saying that they're a good company and stuff, but that they didn't like how some of the contractors were being treated. So the same thing with this. This is another five-star review. Short contract for testers less than minimum wage in Ireland. Right. So that's in Ireland, but still, the fact is that, yeah, they're getting a lot of good reviews, Larian Studios is. And a lot of people say they like it. They like the place, they like the people, but it's just the salaries. One in Ireland, but a lot in the U.S. and some other places, that some positions, including product testers and artists and animation, are severely underpaid. Stephanie Sterling gave Metroid Prime Remaster a 7.5 just for the fact that Retro didn't credit everyone. Even though Retro did put in the Metroid Prime Remaster ending, credit to all former employees and all former staff of Retro Studios. I think they wanted individual credits, and I understand that I do. And I think Retro should have given it to them. I know, but Michelle, let's be honest. This was built from the ground up, right? Yeah. A lot of the original team didn't work on this, so why I should know. they deserve credit? Well, because they did use the assets, but I know what you mean, but it's just, they did say, though, special yeah. things. Why does it have to be individual names? Yeah. If you say to the whole team, then you're saying it to all of them. And Larian Studios, if you guys remember, also forgot to credit a lot of people. Now, did they get on it and change it? A lot of people say that theirs was fixed. But again, did you hear Stephanie Sterling? And yes, Stephanie Sterling, I'm calling you out on this. Did you change your opinion on Baldur's Gate when you found this out? And did you hear people like Spawn Wave or Rich Review Tech USA? You know, Mr. Everybody Does It. It's just like, come on. Yeah. I'm saying that not okay to let one studio get away with it. Exactly. If you guys want to hold Nintendo personal accountability, okay, that's great. But don't let Larian Studios, just because you guys love Baldur's Gate 3, don't let them get away with the same type of behavior. I know you people are like, but it's an indie company. You know what? When the game won 
so many quote unquote game of the year awards and all that stuff. Oh, no, sorry. They're not like Team Cherry who made no. Hollow Knight. This is a company that has hundreds of employees, over six, seven hundred employees, I think, no. counting the people outside of the development and stuff. No. All the PR people and advertising no. studios in a lot of different countries. Rumors, Lettering Studios don't put out official numbers, but some people have said the game has sold over 15 million copies. They're not. Team Cherry or somebody exactly. like that or Chucklefish. Yes, yeah. This is a big international company, company yes. and there's no excuse as to why they can't pay at least the standard that other companies pay. Well, you have to also remember, Michelle, this is America, where the average minimum wage is $7.25. Yeah. It's capitalism for you. Abuse of capitalism. Yes. And nobody does it better than the United States of America. America, yeah. So, no, I'm not sitting here trying to shame people. I'm trying to shame the media who won't talk about this. Exactly. Only exactly. places are Glassdoor and ISP. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah. else is talking about this. Nope. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear, well, they came from Glassdoor. So did the Retro Studio about them not having good management and stuff. Y'all jumped on that. The contract worker thing with Nintendo, y'all jumped on that. So if you're going to use it for some but not for others, that shows that you have favoritism. And, and that, you're a fanboy. Yeah, and that just is just about trying to protect Larian Studios. If they're underpaying employees, they need to be held accountable. Oh, yes. Doesn't matter if you love their game or not. Yeah, exactly. Of Keely and all them want games like this to be the normal. Okay. Western looking, come down and slim down gameplay and yeah. stuff so that anyone can play it. And cinematic adventures light. That's what I call it. You have no idea how many people I've talked to, like, oh, this is the best RPG I've ever played. It's not who played the great Final Fantasies, Xenoblade, Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Skyrim, Oblivion, Whirlwind. You must not have played Fallout, Pokemon. New Vegas, Pokemon, the great Pokemon games. You must not have played none of those. But anyway, the fact is, this is about holding this studio accountable. accountable. You guys want to hold Nintendo's feet to the fire? Good. Yeah. But don't let this company get away with the same type of behavior. Maybe. That's just favoritism, bias, and it shows that you guys really don't care about this situation. You only care when it's a company like Nintendo and stuff that you don't like. You know what this reminds me of, Michelle? What? I know it has not, not video games, but really the similarity kind of struck me. It reminds me of when all the wrestle wrestling media. Right. Hogan did this. Hogan did that. Hogan was politics. So did Shawn Michaels. So did The Undertaker, The Rock, Steve Austin. Yeah. And all these other people. But they don't talk about them. It's always Hogan. Yeah. Hogan and no one else. And you know, and don't get me wrong. The guy who plays Hogan is a scumbag. He's a scumbag. I'm sorry, yeah. he is. He's not the only one. Yeah, like with video games. Right. You know, why just blame one person or one company when there are so many other companies and people that are worse. Yeah, and like I said, it's just that they want to put this game up on a pedestal. And the company that made it up on a pedestal. Yeah. And it's pretty sad. Like I said, you want to like this game? Fine. But if you're going to hold other studios accountable and not them, that's just favoritism. Like I said, look how you all jumped all over the young lady who voiced Bayonetta before was being underpaid. Because you're like, but Sean, that was platinum. I know, but who owns Bayonetta? Nintendo. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. But then when you find out that Sony and Microsoft... Other places. Other places were paying them really low. Even worse. Worse. They dropped it like a hot potato. Yeah, they drop it. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's just called collective outrage. Yeah. It just shows that you don't give a damn about what happens to these people. Yeah. It's only the companies you don't like that you want to shine a spotlight on. Yeah. And that's just hypocrisy, and it's downright bigotry, to be honest with you. I mean, but, you know, folks, let's be honest. Nintendo's not the only company that the media hates. I'll name five other companies that they hate. Nintendo, 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 and Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, and they can't let the Yamauchi days go. No, they can't. That's no. sad. Yeah. Or the Howard Lincoln days. Yeah. They can't let the Howard Lincoln and Yamauchi days go. Because who do you think most of these people are who do this, folks? White men in their 40s, 50s, and late 30s. Who are in sales and live in their mummy's basements. Yeah. Like I said, they still have flashbacks of Mortal Kombat 1 and Howard Lincoln oh. going to Congress talking about night trap and stuff. Oh, yeah. Get over it. Yeah. I don't want to hear you people complain about Nintendo voice actors if you're not going to go after the rest of them. Yeah, I don't exactly. want to hear you complain about mistreatment of contract workers by Nintendo if you're not going to go after the rest of them. You know, real quick, going back to the Mortal Kombat thing, real quick, Michelle. I just want to say, let's look at today. Nintendo in Japan, I can't remember the game, had a game with almost fully naked women. What, does Sony do in the version? They turned them into dogs. Yeah. Dogs! Yeah. 
And the video game media just let them get away with it. A few people covered it, but then they yeah. dropped it. They dropped so. it. But that's what we're talking about. Yeah. And Sean and I are not going to back down from this. Nope. Nope. You're either for equal rights and treatment of people, or you're not. Exactly. Not if it's just companies that you like. Exactly. This is me, Michelle Ann Tackett. This is Sean. Have a good one. Thank you for staying to the end of the video and watching it. If you like all of our videos, then don't you join our other social medias like TikTok, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, Thread, X, and our WordPress blog. You can also support us by joining Patreon for as little as $1 a month where you will get exclusive content, uncut videos, behind the scenes, watch that trailer, Jack's Joke of the Week, and my sports input. If you join the $25 tier, I will send you an autographed copy of the Buzzies for free. If you love horror movies and independent content we're a great place to come and visit because we love supporting other independent creators and stuff when you support us you're supporting people who do all of this by ourselves hey michelle i'm the editor i'm the director of the videos i'm the producer sean's the executive producer and content creator so thank you everybody and please look into supporting our patreon as it really does help out just one dollar a month thank you and have a wonderful day